Hello, and welcome to Wired, episode 8. In this week's episode, we will be discussing staff training, how frequently it should be done, and what your responsibilities are as an employer. At JPro Services, we offer comprehensive training to meet these requirements. Our training can be tailored to suit your site and needs, and presentations can be adjusted to include specific instructions or indications. You should never attempt to tackle a fire yourself, and should always evacuate a building and then call the fire service. If you employ five or more employees, by law you are required to offer fire safety training. As an employer, you are responsible for ensuring your staff are adequately trained in what to do in the event of a fire. Basic fire training should include evacuation procedures, elements of combustion, types of fire, types of extinguishers and their use, and very basic firefighting skills. Fire marshal and fire warden training covers fire safety in more depth and looks at both the theory and practical aspects of the fire warden's roles and responsibilities, such as day-to-day fire safety and housekeeping issues, including emergency evacuation procedures. Usually you will need a minimum of one, ideally two, fire marshals per floor or department. However, more may be needed in special circumstances, such as if you have disabled individuals in your building. Basic fire extinguisher training can be carried out as part of your general fire safety course or at the time of your fire extinguisher service if your extinguishers are due for replacement. At JPro, we always explain the different types of classes of fire and the different properties needed to extinguish them. Although this is not a certified training course, our engineers demonstrate the basic use of CO2 and water extinguishers and attendees have the opportunity to use an extinguisher in a controlled setting. To be clear, fire marshal and fire warden training does not automatically expire on any set date and it does not have any set duration of validity. A critical component is how often the fire marshal or warden actually uses the training If they are involved in regular drills and regular reviews of fire safety, then there is probably no need to repeat it every year. It should be repeated when there is reason to believe the training is no longer meeting the employer's needs and it's really down to the individual discretion and common sense. Be careful of companies providing certificates with expiry dates. Training does not have to be repeated in any time frame legally, so do not be fooled. Asbestos training. Asbestos awareness training is something which all employers need to do who have employees who may undertake work on sites where there is asbestos present, whether their own site or those of clients. In conclusion, at JPRO we can offer all of the previously mentioned services at competitive prices and can also supply fire safety logbooks and fire marshal kits to accompany the training. Please visit www.jproservices.co.uk for more information and ensure that you and your staff are safe in our hands. Music